Hello, welcome back to Father and Two Plays Skyrim. So, we have a couple of ways to go here. This isn't one of them. Okay, I got all that ore. Oh, she must have had a zombie or something. I was like, what? Just died. Doesn't make sense. Ooh. Wish you could pan the camera around while you're mining. I don't know why exactly, except that I would, I would pan the camera down into my own face, probably. Uh, now I'm pretty sure. Oops. Okay. Still pretty sure there was another, like, two ways to go. Might be wrong. Might just be one way. We have another Paragon to take back. Might be the last one, but there may be like one more, an Amethyst one, possibly. I was just gonna say, bet I can't go that way. Hello. Like I said, I wish they had a climbing mechanic. I would put perks into that tree. Lining up such a nice shot. There he goes. Hey, what's going on over here while you're sleeping? <laughs> oh my god, my face! Are more gonna show up? That'd be awesome. I'll snipe you all from here. Not, but there is one. I'm gonna hit the invisible wall next to this rock, aren't I? No. I thought I heard something. I'm just gonna stand here, look kinda in its general direction. <laughs> Where's she going? She's like, I forgot something in my tent, I'll just uh you gotta check it out. <sighs> Say hello Aww. to my little friend who missed you. There we be. Excuse me, I lost some arrows. Did you find them? I just one of them. Um, ah, okay. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's how you do that. In the stupidest way possible. Ooh, right in the elbow. And I hate it when I get an arrow in the air next to my, like, left kidney. Beak. Does that mean you could shoot the hawks? I mean, that must be what that means, right? Oh, dear. what are you doing over there? You didn't see that. 
I accidentally tapped the button. <laughs> Where'd this guy even get shot? Oh, <laughs> he pulled it out to try and fire it back at me, I get it. Um... Oh. But the potions... Oops! Bro! Yes, 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 okay, sure, okay, what's next, mmm, nice leg of goat, mmm, you know, we call like deer meat venison. What what do you call goat meat? <clears throat> Pardon me. Frog in my throat. What do you call goat meat? There's gotta be a better name for it than goat meat. Can you hold this for me? Thanks, pal. Hold on. I got a couple more. I need you to hang on to. One more? Yeah. Thank you, buddy. I'll just, uh, pick those back up, please. Well, I mean, you held three of them. You know what's my favorite? These frickin' bug sacks over here. They're so cool. My favorite part about them is that they don't all actually contain an insect. There you are. Who's there? I knew I heard something. These things probably get tougher. I mean, I guess everything in the game is going to get tougher, because we're, like, level 30-something? I don't know what level you can get to in this. There was a maximum possible level in Oblivion because of the way the system worked. Maybe it's infinite in this, I don't know. Well, no, it would... I guess you, once you max out all your skills, then you can't level up anymore, right? I like how anusy all of these, uh, you know, tops of these tents look. That's cool. Sure. Oh, we've been missing some of those. Okay. Well, a guy will probably ask us to come back here for them. That'd be my guess. Uh, because we were supposed to show them to that orc that runs the Arcanium. That's what I think, anyway, the, when we picked up the first one. So that was Volume 4. We're missing Volumes 2 and 3, at least. Upwards, then. I like this place. I'd want to make my home here, too. I like how it's really dark and probably smells like mold.
Ah, key of the ice. I expected there to be at least one Falmer in here by now. Strange. So maybe I should have been checking the Falmer tents more carefully, so I could find that other, or the other two books, at least two. Could be five total, I don't know. Sorry, Serana. Um, it's like the bane of her existence. <laughs> Me setting off stone traps. Alright, she resists it. Oh. <laughs> uh. Sorry. Didn't didn't mean it. Uh. Where'd you come from? That'll teach you. Hey, don't you go too far. I want those arrows back. More Quicksilver. I'll take it. We've actually used up, what, 100 arrows? 120 arrows? I can't remember how many we had. Maybe less than 100, but still a lot. Considering we get most of them back when we uh, loot a body. It's a ghost. Means he doesn't notice all the Falmer around. He's got uh, selective vision. Selective periphery. Hey, bro. Um, you're kind of a amidst a lot of Falmer. You okay with that? Or... Actually, there's none here. Kill them? Like, dislocates his spirit jaw and swallows Falmer whole? I don't think those are actually ingredients. The honey? The husk is. I am pretty certain of that. I mean, in real life, honey is often used in poultices and is known for its healing ability. Maybe the wax as well? <laughs> Those are like alive. <laughs> Pearls, huh? All right. Sep did. You found the Way Shrine of Radiance, Initiate. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel and fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Like totally. Yes. May the blessings of Ariel protect you as you climb the road to the inner sanctum and final enlightenment. Do your thang. Boop. Can't wait to get inside. Um, I think I want to go.
go to the Shrine of Resolution, because I want to go put that Paragon in. That was loud. May Ari Els glow shield you from your Sure. Yeah, I believe it's that way. Can't wait till we get glass armor. I like the glass armor. I'm trying to remember, I think that was the highest tier available for light armor in Morrowind. Like glass was the light equivalent of Daedric. There was also medium armor in Morrowind, if I remember correctly. If I remember correctly. Uh, Diamond. I will place in the Diamond one. Wrong button. There we go. Looks like I've been here, but not up here. Also looks like I need uh, the higher levels of Whirlwind Sprint. Yeah, I remember where we are. That's that cave where we swam along below. I think we need the higher levels of Whirlwind Sprint to do some of this stuff. What we're gonna do with the other one with the falls. Heavy armor absorbs more damage, but it also weighs more than light armor. Okay, well. Wellity, wellity, wellity. I can start trying to make some good poison, so I'm gonna take this with me just in case. Yeah, we should definitely go out and learn more shouts when we get back to the main story quest. Okay, well, it looks like we're almost done with the main part of this May quest. May Ariel's glow shield you from your enemy. Yeah, I think that's the one we want. Radiance. I don't know if we'll find all those books ever. Could be hard. Yeah, this is where we came out. Or came from. It's definitely where we came out because now we're here. That has to be the place. I've never seen a building like that. It looks like some kind of temple. This is the kind of thing I've been wanting to see. It makes everything else worth it. Jeez, you mean everything else like traveling with me, or what do you mean by that? Almost makes my time with you bearable. If you're gonna be my wife, you better calm your business. She's like, I don't I don't wanna be your wife. Well, it's not up to you, is it?
some elven snow elf like king dude he had some jewels in his crown that's weird my jewel now doesn't look like I should go down there hello Huh. I guess that's a statue of Oriel. Poor water. Do you think I could have just peed in it? No, no, no. To the inner sanctum. Where all the froze bros are. Yeah, I'll take that. Um Smash? No. Okay, I see a pattern here. Seems something cold happened to all these people. He's Falmer. Falmer, sorry. They're frozen in the ice. I wonder how long they've been like this. And I thought the soul care was good. Why are they all holding potions? I was going to love they sent them. Oh no, not my scroll! <laughs> Kidding me? <laughs> Did you seriously just scare me like that? Not expecting that. Got your number that time. Guess more of them would probably come to life if I really wanted their, uh, Elven swords, which I don't. Huh? Uh? But don't mind if I do. Guess that's how we get out of here, or does this open? Secret passage? Mm. Giant? Yeah, that'll teach you to be alive. <laughs> Jerk. Ruby Paragon. So I was wrong, there was also Ruby. Hmm. Oh. 
Why is it these skeletons happen to have some gold, like, squirreled away inside their... You know what's... The guys are like, don't lock us in here with him. He's a total jerk. Actually, they might not have been Palmer. Probably weren't, judging by their skeletons. Okay. That's... <sighs> You really gotta warn me before you... Sorry, hold on. I'll let you out of there. You gotta warn me before you... raise skeletons, like, directly behind me. It's not cool. Don't worry, I gotcha. Come on through. Okay, you could stay though. You scared me, that's unfair. Uncool, dude. Oh, I love that stab. <laughs> Don't smash me to bits. Scroll of short nap. He didn't use it, that's why he died. It's because he took too long a nap. Route? Ro Ruat? <laughs> Route. Oh man, I really wish I hadn't have died. Sitting. Look at that. <laughs> uh. Put you down, down, and thrust your pelvis. Where'd you come from? Okay, your trick's getting old, though. I told you not to raise skeletons without warning me first. You took my Where'd you come from? That's the only reason I was still frozen. I love that necklace. This guy was hugging this. I love you, Brazier. Please, don't ever go out. <laughs> don't seem to, to care unless you take their stuff. So, like, everyone was running and hiding. From the Falmer attack, I guess, and then there's a big frost explosion, I guess. You know you want to. Best not mess with me or I'll sick my lady friend on you. She's totally sitting over there going, don't call me your lady friend. What? You're a lady. We're, I'm, I'm your friend. We're friends. She, she's saying no. Firestorm. That would probably hurt Serana badly. Did 
need to pull that back out. I should sheathe it again. Sheathed dreams are made of this. Who am I to put you away? Traveled the world with you in my scabbard. Everybody is looking for something. Uh, this is this is running really well right now, and I like that. Look how well it's running. Did you the ice really kid. come here expecting to claim Ariel's bow? You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, you a vamper? Is he talking about me? Which, I'm sorry to say, means your usefulness is at an end. He's there. Oh no. The thing I knew would happen <laughs> happened. <laughs> Get frozen poison stuff at me. Okay, so we're going to use one of those potions we got of frost resistance. Hey, not cool, bro. I'll see you. Wave after wave of my own men at them. Next. Come at me, Froze. How you like me now? Whoosh! You say, did she get killed? She can't get killed, right? Next wave. An impressive display, but a wasted effort. You delay nothing but your own deaths. Well, yeah. Watch out! Ceiling at me or what? Okay, so let's go scrolls. Oh my god, run away! Hey, would you leave her alone? No! 
He's up there on the balcony. Come on. How you doing, bro? I mean, you're the other guy's bro, but... Enough further. Give us the bow. Yeah. How dare you? How dare you? I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I had the ears of a god! Until the betrayed corrupted you, yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelibor and his kind are easily manipulated fools! Look into my eyes, Serana. I'm you here too, guys. You what I am. You're... You're a vampire? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me! I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost! Uh, I'm here too, guys. You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire. Ariel's bow. It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. I'm here too, guys. All this time for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. What trickery is Where'd this? you come from? Okay, let's uh ba -ba -ba. sanguine rose. Okay, now back to our fast healing. There you go, bro. Take it. Oh, that was unnerving. Uh, just suck, just to suck, get a bar, <laughs> just a sec. Yes. Yes. Okay. So the deed has been done. It has. The restoration of this way deed. shrine means that Bertha must be dead. Betrayed no longer have control over him. The betrayed weren't to blame. What? What are you talking about? He was a vampire. I can he controlled them. A vampire? Vampire. I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Why? Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You're welcome. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, 
You've restored the champion. Still don't have the bow, though. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than oh, you. Oh, sick. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain sun-hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. What are sun-hallowed arrows? Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Okay, let's take a look. Thirty-six compared to my... Oh, right, it's at the bottom. I gave it a name. Fifty-three? Well, maybe when we upgrade it. Twenty points of sun damage. And undead take triple. Well, that's pretty sick. Please, take the bow. It's yours. What will happen to you now? Even with Vertha gone, and the inner sanctum destroyed, my duty as a knight paladin of Oriel remains. I have been sworn to protect this veil and everything it represents until I die. Farewell, friend. May the light of Oriel... If there's anything at all I can help you with, please ask. What will happen to the Chantry now? While it would fill me with joy to see the Chantry back to its former glory, that time has long since passed. Now that my brother's dead, it's quite possible I'm the last of our kind. Then I've contributed to your kind's extinction. There's no need for that kind of talk. I said it was possible. It's also quite possible that there are some other isolated conclaves of Snow Elves nestled elsewhere on Nern. I'll also assume Vertha didn't exactly give you the option to stay your hand. So Nern is our realm, okay. What will you do then? For the time being, I will remain here on the Overlook and continue trying to keep the Sanctum free of the betrayed. You're always welcome to return here at any time, of course. Damn right I am. Can the betrayed ever be cured? I feel nothing but sympathy for the betrayed despite my actions against them. But I'm afraid that they're well beyond a cure at this point. Why? The twisted forms you've seen didn't occur overnight. It isn't a plague or a disease that ravaged our species. The dwarves may have stolen their sight, but it took many generations for them to become what they are today. Then there's no hope for them. Perhaps they'll never return to their former appearance. But over the centuries, I've noticed a rise in their intellect. If a line of communication could be established with them, maybe they can find peace. It's the only way they'll discover that they weren't always malignant. They were once a proud and prosperous race. What can you tell me about Oriel's bow? The bow was said to be carried by Oriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel, and possibly beyond. What can it do? The bow do? draws its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. Sounds powerful. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect, causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. The sun bursts would certainly hurt anything, but is especially devastating to the undead. Vertha said something about using blood? Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's, of course, if you're foolish enough to try it. How do I obtain sun-hallowed arrows? I can actually assist you in that regard. If you were to bring me some good quality elven arrows, I could imbue them with the proper incantations and rituals. Can you make me some sun-hallowed arrows? Absolutely. I can only do twenty at a time. So if you want the rest of your arrows blessed, let me know. Okay. Absolutely. Let's do it. I can only do... Absolutely. I can only... Absolutely. I don't know if it's... I, it's absolutely. gotta be good, right? I, absolutely. They're blessed. Absolutely. I, absolutely. 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 I... Absolutely. I... Absolutely. <laughs> I can... Absolutely. Uh. I... Certainly. I can only do 20 at a time, but I see that won't be a problem in this case. 
Okay. So. Sun hallowed arrows. What do they do? Causes sunburst attacks to nearby targets if the shot if shot at the sun with Oriole's bow. I can shoot the sun? <laughs> what? Okay, well, I gotta try that. May the warmth of Oriel provide you strength. Still, it's beautiful. Wait, where is the sun? Ah. It's not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, Serana. You kidding me? That's so cool. Okay. Uh, bu bu bum. We want to actually travel. If there's assistance I can provide, just ask. It's the least I can do. Is it resolution? I think it's resolution that it's... we want to go to. So we could go try out our other paragon. Horses of Skyrim. Backdoor edition. Yeah, I was talking May about Ariel's horses, but blow shield you from your enemy. May you shoot the sun directly. And may it burst forth with fire upon all those around. No, no. This is what I want. Gonna have to go upgrade Oriole's bow. We'll go check out this paragon, then we'll end the episode. Ruby Paragon. So we have more books to find here as well. I'm not sure if we'll do that. I mean, the I'll definitely do it at some point. I'm not sure if I'll do it on camera, because it might be, you know, a load of searching. That's a big area. Home? Where'd you come from? Palmer Warmonger? Hey, he's wearing the armor. Oriole's shield? Whoa, it's heavy armor, though. That's pretty cool, though. Might be worth it to wear or have a heavy shield, just because that's awesome. It stores the energy of attacks against it and releases them when you Who's there? when you do a shield bash. Cross no! roll. I mean, it won't affect our set bonus, having a heavy shield. It'll just affect our, our weight, and we're pretty low on weight. Anyway. What was he doing up here? That troll laid out like that. Okay, well, I think before we end the episode, we'll travel... I'll grab that paragon. Maybe we'll store them around our house. Where'd you come from? Um, we'll travel to our house. Oh, guys. The improvements, because I, I finished building. Done and done. I still need to put more furniture inside, but uh, I did most everything I wanted to do. I built all the wings that I'm going to build on that one. 
Apparently you could get more than one house. I might do that. Eventually. The ancient and long-dead Dwemer built many devices and automatons that continue to function to this day. Okay. Now... World map. Let's find our house. There it is. Lakeview Manor. There's almost always a giant here when I come home. Oh yeah, we got a weird spell that I don't remember the name of. But it's not one that I remember seeing before at any point. Almost level 38. I'm going to do some crafting off camera. I might uh, get that level then. So let's take a look at the outside. We got our library. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did trophy room. Not the storage room. But I might have done storage room. And then over here we have a greenhouse. And... I bought all the furniture you can buy from your steward for the place, so let's see what it looks like. Because you have to travel away and come back before it shows up, so I haven't seen what uh, the greenhouse or the storage place look like. Hmm. Don't want to grow any of that right now. We got... Uh, some rocks in here. We got display cases. We got a few pots. It looks like we got to put more in. And then let's check our trophy room. I think that's what it is. And it's a little bare, but we'll get more stuff in here. And I'll organize the library soon. Start on my books of Skyrim. It'll just be a side series. Ooh. Um, and I'll eventually read all the books and have them all in a playlist so people can look at it. What's our basement like? I don't know if I did anything to the cellar yet. It's been skeevered! Who's there? I knew I could. Done and done. Done and done is right. Huh. can we do down here before I end the episode? Let's just take a look. Containers, furniture, display case, okay. Weapon racks, ooh. Cool. Lots of weapon it's racks. not as shiny Shelves. as I was expecting. Still, Archery. it's oh, beautiful. Oh, look, we can make a forge down here. I have a place I can do it outside, but that's kind of cool. Any, a smelter? It's yeah, I have a smelter outside, too. not as too, shiny as I was expecting. Cool. Still, it's beautiful. You talking about my house or oh the bow the bow she keeps mentioning it should I talk to her about it I guess I should before I end the episode right it's not as shiny as I was expecting still it's beautiful what I do we do we now both know it's time to face my father if we don't he'll keep chasing us for the rest of our lives Maybe we can reason with him. Have you been paying attention? <laughs> it's obvious my father's well okay, beyond reason. Okay, fine, we'll kill your dad. No, this has to end here and now. Then let's face him together. If we head back to the castle and kick the front door in, we're gonna be knee-deep in his friends. Let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first. I'm betting he'll lend us a sword or two. Well, I guess we'll save that for next time. Until then, if you enjoyed it, please leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. <laughs> this is Father of Two, signing off.